Right, well, jib.shopping is, is effectively an Amazon-type platform just for Gibraltar. So only legitimate licensed Gibraltar businesses will be able to register. And it be it retail or be it services, and we are focusing on, focusing on retail right now simply because they are, I'm gonna say, worstly affected. Um, they can uh, upload their products. In fact, we can synchronize all their websites so that when uh, anybody comes to jib.shopping, they can search for a product and or a service and then find uh, a variety of, um, the strength of the platform being that. If we think of the pandemic in recent months, uh, uh, retailers have been pushed to offer uh, some of their goods online, even if they didn't previously. So but what's different about it, this is that it tries to pull everything together. A marketplace, that's right. Um, I had meetings with Minister Vijay Daranyani before this Christmas, but actually uh, before uh, the Christmas 2019. And I showed him a working model. Um, sadly, we didn't get the support that we, we were asking for, uh, or else we could have had this ready before the first lockdown. Um, people are now resorting to taking phone deliveries. I mean, do you have this? You know, it's very difficult to see what it is you want to purchase. You know, so, so this, will, this will put everybody, and, and in fact, it will allow the consumer to purchase um, a variety of products from different stores um, all in one. So rather than having to manually visit, visit absolutely every single website that you, you can think may have a product um, and all like we do as a consumer, go to this store, that store and that store, uh, you can search for it all on one platform. So you've got a website, you've got an app, um, right. potential purchasers might have seen those but they can't buy yet. You're still at a stage where you're trying to get as many of Gibraltar's retailers and service providers on there. For the, for the consumer's experience to be the best, we need plenty of stores on there so that when you search for something, you're going to get you know, options and variety. That's, that's the, the beauty of it. Be it you take a photo of an item that you're looking for, be it that you upload a photo, be it that you search. Okay, and uh, what are the next steps in the project? We need help. Um, we've asked government for help. Um, short of manpower, I uh, haven't even asked for money, um, um, although that's another separate issue. But um, we need help for the retailers to be able to put themselves online. So I'm going to ask for any other technical companies out there, those website developers, anybody who's a little bit technical, who can assist some of these retailers who have no idea of how to set up a Facebook profile, and we have made it as easy as that, to be able to help them because um, we are limited in number and we cannot roll this out fast enough. So just to be clear then, for you at this stage it's not a commercial project, you're, you're thinking of it as something that uh, the main street of Gibraltar, retailers, service providers would benefit from and you're starting from that premise? That's definitely true. Um, I, I think everybody has now come to realise that if you're not online you're not going to sell anything. Um, this project goes beyond just the local market. The idea being is that if we advertise it properly, um, be it people come from uh, on a cruise liner, they take two and a half hours between the time they see the rock and they step off the boat. So if we advertise it correctly, they could be checking jib.shopping. That means that uh, they could have already spent their money before they actually arrive to Gibraltar. So if anybody's coming by plane or on a coach, sitting for two and a half, three hours on a coach, they could be searching for stuff, make their purchase and have it delivered to the air terminal, to the cruise liner terminal or the coach park terminal. That means it gives them more time to spend more.